And we are back here on Open. The Flag Award for Teaching Excellence recognizes and celebrates extraordinary public school teachers who inspire learning through creativity, passion, as well as commitment. The grand prize will be awarded to one teacher from each borough of New York City. This last year during the pandemic was one of the hardest to really, really be a school teacher, but these teachers, they actually continue to strive. And uh, here to share a little bit more about that is a music teacher at Celia Cruz Bronx High School of Music, Penelope Smetters Giacono, Giacono, I'm sorry, and co-president of the Flag Foundation for Excellence in Education, Laura Twersky and Risa Daniels. And uh, thank you ladies for joining us and being with us here on Open. Wonderful, so nice to be here. Thank you. And Penelope, congratulations. I'm going to ask you a little bit about, you know, your music teacher doing some great things. Talk to us about uh, your school and uh, what you do. Okay, so I'm the band director at Celia Cruz Bronx High School of Music. Uh, we've been open since 2003. I was on the planning team, so I'm the founding director of the program. And there I conduct three concert bands and two jazz bands and one after school jazz band as well. So, and I've been, I am now in my 21st year teaching band. I just finished my 21st year. Congratulations. And uh, here you are with, uh, nominated for the Flag Award. And, uh, you know, give us your thoughts because here it is, you have an award for excellence. And as a teacher, I talked in the intro about COVID-19 and really navigating and st still trying to be able to deal with students. And I know it had to be a challenge for you as well. Well, so first of all, I was absolutely flabbergasted when I found out that I won. <laughs> I can't, I can't even express my surprise. When um, when awards like this and grants come up, we apply really often so that we can help fund our music programs. So, so but you you kind of apply and then you just leave them to the universe and go on with your life. So, I I did the interview early back in March with these lovely ladies, and then I kept going about the business of teaching through COVID nineteen in our program. So. We, we were in the blended model at our school. So I had two days a week where I was teaching in person, actual music, actual band, and then three days a week where I was teaching band online. I had about 19 different classes. Um, they were smaller, so that made teaching online a little bit easier. And then our in-person classes, for a good chunk of time, we were actually at 12 foot spacing in the cafeteria with all the, the air purifiers and the masks and the instrument, instrument masks. So it was very, surreal but still awesome to be able to make music together yeah. so that's what we just we just tried to make music together through this and keep our spirits up and our program alive yeah and Risa and Laura I'll, I'll let either one of you answer whichever one you want to jump in but obviously talk about keeping your spirits up this award actually does that I mean it really gives life to teachers who've actually made a significant contribution throughout the course of the year talk to us a little bit about the award sure so um the award is only two years old um, we, we started um, the award last year and, you know, found really amazing teachers and we're really excited to expand this year to all of New York City. Last year was just focused on Manhattan. And then, of course, COVID hit. And so it was an entirely new experience for us um, doing conducting everything over Zoom interviews. But what we found was really teachers who not only were adapting to, to remote learning and the challenges of COVID, but were thriving and really using the um, opportunity to Zoom with their students, Zoom with, um, with speakers from all over the world to really engage their students in new ways. And um, it was really, really inspiring for us to have those conversations and to meet teachers like Penelope and see just how they were adapting and thriving. Yeah. And Laura, what was it like? I mean, it was a, a lot of applicants and it took a ton of time to really dwindle down to get to these uh, finalists. Yeah, I mean, it, it was tough because we had so many wonderful teachers. Um, we have a jury a panel made up of five, um, actually made up of philanthropists and people involved in education and the arts. So we were, the reason I always said we were kind of happy, we didn't have to make that final decision. We left it to them. Um, but of course we were thrilled and highly recommended Penelope for this award. So we're very happy to see her. And I will add when we attended the surprise announcement at her school, it was so clear to see the impact that she has had. There were students that she had from her first year to her present year and the auditorium was full. So it was, it was just an incredible experience to be there. Penelope, what was it like getting the news and uh, walk us through how that happened. Okay, so I was proctoring the Regents exam upstairs. 
<laughs> I really, I had not even a, the smallest inkling that anything was going on. I was proctoring and my principal came to get me and said he needed to show me something. And we're walking down the stairs and he opened the door to the cafeteria, to the gym. And it was like, like mayhem, like thunderous applause. And I walked in and I was, I, I didn't know what was happening. And then I started to see people and I looked, I saw one of my girls, Hilda, who was from my first year teaching, who's now a doctor that I haven't seen in like 20 years. And then I saw the superintendent of Bronx High Schools, who was the superintendent when I, who hired me. And then I saw my husband and I was like, what? <laughs> what what is happening here and when it finally dawned on me I mean I'm complete I just felt so overwhelmed and so grateful like I can't explain how it felt to see uh, these are the people who made me the teacher that I am these students that I taught from the beginning of my career in 1999 until last week all in the same room together along with my mentors and the principal who hired me fresh out of college and and my students who had graduated a couple of days before, it was just such a wonderful feeling. I, don't, I, I can't ever imagine another time where I'll have all those people in the same place again. So it Amazing. was overwhelming and extremely humbling. Yeah, well, congratulations. And I know that you've got a $25,000 prize and uh, what's a teacher to do with $25,000? <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm not sure. I still am <laughs> in complete shock. So I think I'm just gonna, gonna sit on it for a while and give it some some thought yeah. some thought on what what would be best yeah but you, you you talked about your history and literally the fact that you saw people from when you first got started who's now a doctor to your most recent students and your principal who hired uh, the person what really got you into just saying listen teaching is going to be my future what was what, what, what inspired you to be a teacher you know I think it came in a lot of small moments, but the one I can pinpoint is actually a little later than you'd expect. I know that some people who are teachers know they're gonna be teachers from like the moment they're in high school or beyond. And for me, I wasn't totally sure. And I went to NYU for music education and I can tell you, I knew that I was passionate about it and that I would be good at it in my senior year when I was doing my student teaching with Ray Wheeler at Stuyvesant High School. That, that that's the moment that I can pinpoint as being like, wow, this is amazing. These kids are amazing and doing this work is what I'm here to do. Wow. So it happened kind of late for me, I think. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it happened for you. By evidence of the fact that you've got this award, you did the right thing. And so thank you for being with us and uh, congratulations again on this $25,000 award and being nominated that Teacher of the Year. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All righty, Penelope, want to thank you. Also want to thank Laura and want to thank Risa as well. Glad to have you all here on the show. Thank you so much. All right, well, if you want more information, encourage you, please go to the website. How do you do that? Flagaward.org. We also encourage you to follow them on social media. You can see them on Instagram and Twitter at Flag Award.